Hello there and welcome to another video by the MXQ project. So today's video is all about the retro gaming experience build that we released a couple of weeks ago. So this build was based specifically for Kazak's Librelec 8.0 build for the MXQ, so one of these boxes that has the Amalogic S85 processor in it or S905 Amalogic devices, so something maybe like the MXQ Pro for example with the S905 socket. So this build was specifically built for Kazax Libre Elec running on these two devices with these two processors. So if you're running that, then you can go straight ahead and install our retro gaming experience. So this video is to show you how to use the brand new emulation station feature that we added in this latest build. So we want to show you in this video how to use WinSCP to transfer ROMs onto your device. It sounds more, it sounds really complicated, it's really not. This video is going to be over and done in the next couple of minutes because it's that fast and it's that easy to use. So let's move on to the first part where I want to show you where to get your IP address because that's really important. So you need to get your IP address from Cody. And then where to get your files from to install WinSCP. So load up your gaming build and let's go to system. So we need to go and grab our IP address. Go to system info as shown. And as you'll see, you see IP address. Make note of that IP address because we'll need it later. Let's come back out and let's make sure a few things are turned on because we need to ensure SSH and Samba are turned on. So head over to add-ons. Apps, should I say. Yep, head to apps. And then move over to LibreLec configuration. I'm sure you guys already know how, how it's all laid out, etc. And then what we need to do is we need to go down to services. Yeah, so let's go into services. Now we need to enable Samba. That's just, just enable that anyway. And then we need to enable SSH as shown. And there we go. Let's move over to the computer now because everything's set up and ready to go. So now we need to install WinSCP. So I'll leave the links in the description where you can get this program from. It's available for Windows, Linux, etc. And again, I'll just leave the links in the description for you. Install it onto your computer and then we can quickly move on to the next part. So here's WinSCP ready to go. Let's load this up. And here you'll see it asks for host name. So that is the IP address we collected just before from Cody. So type it in. And then click enter. Username is root. So these are def default login, login for LibreLec. And the password is LibreLec. So username, root, password, LibreLec. And that's it. So we're now connected to the TV box for in uh, the retro gaming build. And you'll see here, it says ROMs. And then you'll see all the different systems all nicely laid out with all the individual folders. And all you got to do is drag and drop your ROMs into these folders. And that is it. So as you'll see, I've got Sonic the Hedgehog audio in here. I'll go and grab it again. So I'll go into ROMs, transfer it across. Obviously, it's already in there, so it just asked me to duplicate it, etc. But you get the idea, I think, that it's simply a case of drag and drop in your ROMs now. And that's pretty much it. Let's move it over to Emulation Station and see what happens when we transfer these ROMs into these folders. <laughs> 